Hey everyone, John here from Four Brewers and I'm back with another beer. And today we're going to Folsom, California to Red Bus Brewing Company. This is a brand new brewery that opened in 2018. Uh, and I got this from uh, Mr. Robert French, who uh, just moved up to the Sacramento area not too long ago. He brought this down for Christmas. So thank you, Robert. Appreciate that. Um, this is their Jettronic Haze. This is a Northeast IPA uh, made with El Dorado, Mosaic, and Citra Hops. Uh, Robert had really good things to say about this uh, brewery, and he was excited for me to try this beer. So again, thank you, Robert. This is 6.1% alcohol by volume, and I don't know what to, to expect from this at all. So let's open it up and check it out. Okay, so that's looking pretty tasty. Uh, pretty standard uh, haze going on for... Uh, a New England style. It's not too like milky. It's not too um, cloudy. I, well, it's cloudy, but it's not like that heavy milky kind of uh, milkshake kind of haze. It's it's definitely got a nice yeast slash um, hop haze going on with it. So um, got a nice head on there, nice and fluffy. Um, dissipates fairly quickly, but it's not bad. Uh, looks good. Very, very good looking beer. So let's see what it smells like. Okay, so that's really good. That aroma is on point. Um, this is f right, like the first thing I get off this is like huge citrus notes on the nose, like um, grapefruit, well, more like an orange grapefruit kind of thing. Um, really, really heavily citrus fruity on the nose. I also get a nice bit of uh, heavy, like dankiness on it. Um, I think the, the citrus uh, aromas uh, outweigh the dank from it, but you get like a nice thick hop aroma on this that's citrusy, a little bit of like an earth herbal thing on there too. It's a very, very, very good smelling beer. Like they did an excellent job on this for the aroma. Really good. These beers for me, the thing that makes the good ones stand out is um, not only having a good hop character on the nose, but also having like a little bit of like that malt aroma coming through where you smell, uh, it's it's kind of bready, kind of uh, like uh, vanilla frosting cake kind of thing. It's not so much on the vanilla frosting cake batter thing. Um, it's more of like a, a fluffy, um, biscuity, uh, kind of sweet smelling aroma from the malt, but uh, fantastic, fantastic smell on this. This is so far a great beer. So let's see what it tastes like. Mmm, that's... That's pretty solid. Uh, I mean, mm, yeah, the flavor matches the aroma. Like those citrus hops, that citrus character from those hops really comes through in a big way. Um, this does not disappoint on the flavor at all. Oh man, it's got perfect carbonation on it. Um, it's on the drier side, I would say, uh, which I think I prefer uh, with these uh, New England style IPAs. Um, this is more on the less bitter, more fruity side, which um, I appreciate, but I also appreciate the really dry kind of, well, not maybe not really dry, but the bitter West Coast uh, interpretations of this style. But when you're doing, when you're trying to stick to the, the Northeast style, like the traditional quote unquote style of hazy IPA, it's nice um, to not have it too heavy on the palate, but still have a nice mouthfeel. And this finishes um, really well. Like it's got a nice dry finish to it prickly carbonation, but it's also got a tongue coating mouthfeel. Like, um, it's, it's really good. I think it's more on the drier side though, as far as like, um, getting like a sweet hop or a sweet malt character from it. Um, more on that dry side, but with, like I said, that, that kind of fluffier mouthfeel. I also get like a bit of a, a candy character from it too. Like, a um, God, not like a Jolly Rancher and not like a, like a sweet tart kind of thing, but just kind of like a, like maybe a, a Starburst kind of thing. That's a good way to put it. Um, Cause it's, like I said, it's really citrusy and you do get like that burst of juiciness um, on the palate. Uh, it's, this is a, this is an excellent beer. Like for a brewery that's um, less than a year old, like unless they opened the beginning of 2018, um, this is fantastic. This is really good. I think one thing I would say negatively about this is um, it does have a tongue coating mouthfeel, but it's a little watery, I would say. Um, like 
it, it, it's watery to the point where it kind of feels a little watered down. Um, and while I said before, I don't like having, um, you know, big, sweet uh, New England IPAs. Um, this, I think, could use a little more body and a little more uh, sweetness from the malts. But it's nothing that would stop me from buying this beer again. This is a crushable beer. Uh, it's really good. Again, the bitterness on it, um, low, mid to low. Uh, it's, it's, it's not, maybe mid, uh, it's, it's not, I, I'm not getting a whole lot of bitterness on this beer at all. Um, it's just a tasty, drinkable beer. Like, they did a really good job with the, the aromas on this. Uh, like I said, the flavor, getting that starburst kind of fruit candy kind of thing uh, is really nice. And the only ding I have on it is it's a bit watery, uh, which isn't a big deal. So, um, Red Bus, good job. Keep up the good work. Robert, thank you for the beer, and we'll see you next time.